Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got a circle and two semicircles are inscribed in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radii for all these circles is 1. As you can see, this is 1, this is 1, and this one is 1 as well. And moreover, these circles are tangent to each other. And now we are going to find the area of this uh, square A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and draw a diagonal of this square A, B, C, D by connecting uh, these opposite points A and uh, C. As you can see in this uh, next diagram, we can see that this uh, diagonal AC passes through the center of this circle, and this uh, diagonal is tangent to these uh, two semicircles as well. We know this whole angle is 90 degrees, so this diagonal means that this angle is going to be 45 degrees, and this angle is going to be 45 degrees as well. And now let me go ahead and call the center of this semicircle. I'm going to call this uh, R and this uh, point of uh, tangency I'm going to call uh, E. And in this uh, next step, let's go ahead and connect uh, these points R and E. Let me go ahead and connect uh, these uh, points uh, such that uh, this is the radius of this uh, semicircle. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. And we can see the radius of the semicircle is uh, 1. Now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line is always 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, the angle between this uh, radius and this uh, tangent line is going to be indeed 90 degrees and we know that this is a 90 degree angle and this is a 45 degree angle in this uh, triangle uh, AER so we know that the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well so therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, triangle uh, AER is an isosceles triangle since this angle equals to this angle. So therefore, these two sides are going to be equal in length. If this side is 1, then this side AE is going to be 1 unit as well. So therefore, our this line segment AE turns out to be 1 as you can see over here. Let me call this uh, center of this uh, circle, I'm going to call uh, F. Let's connect uh, these uh, centers uh, R and F as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And now we can see the radius of this uh, semicircle is 1 and the radius of this uh, circle is 1 as well. So therefore, this whole distance uh, RF is going to be 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 units. So therefore our this distance RF is 2 units. Now we are going to find the length of this side EF. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle REF. And since this is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and I'm going to call this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 1. So it's going to be 1 square plus b. We don't know the value of b. Let me go ahead and write down b square and c in our case is 2. So this is going to become 2 square. Let's do the simplification. 1 square is 1 plus b square equals to 4. 
so b square turns out to be 3 let's take the square root on both sides so therefore the b value turns out to be square root of 3 so therefore this b value turns out to be square root of 3 and b is same as this length ef so therefore our this length ef turns out to be square root of 3 as you can see over here and now let me call this point of tangency i'm gonna call p and this point of tangency i'm going to call q and here's our next step let's go ahead and draw the radii this one i'm gonna draw this radius fp and this radius fq and here's our much nicer looking diagram and we know that this radius is one unit and this radius is one unit as well and moreover since this radius is perpendicular to this uh, tangent line no wonder this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees as well so therefore if this side length is 1 then this side length is going to be 1 as well and now let's focus on this uh, triangle FQC and we are going to find the value of this unknown side length uh, FC and we know that this is a right triangle therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem once again and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me call this uh, side length a this side length b and the longest leg I'm gonna call side c let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula a in our case is 1 so I'm gonna put down 1 square plus b is 1 as well so become 1 square and we are going to figure out uh, c value so this is c square let's simplify 1 square is 1 plus 1 square is 1 as well equal to c square so therefore c square equals to 2 let's take the square root on both sides so therefore our c value turns out to be square root of 2 so therefore this c value turns out to be square root of 2 and this length is same as this uh, fc so therefore this fc length turns out to be square root of 2 as you can see over here so therefore we can see that the diagonal of this uh, square a b c d represented by a c is going to be equal to these individual lengths we're going to add them up a e plus e f plus f c so therefore this a c length is going to be this 1 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 2 let me go ahead and write down 1 plus uh, square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 2 and this is our whole diagonal length and now since we are dealing with this uh, square a b c d so therefore all these sides are equal let me go ahead and represent this side by lowercase a then all these uh, sides are going to be lowercase a as well and now let's focus on this uh, triangle ADC and we know that this is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this longest leg c I'm gonna call this side a and this side b let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a in our case is a so a square b in our case is a once again so this is going to be a square equal to c in our case is this whole diagonal so this is going to be 1 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 2 whole square on the left hand side a square plus a square is going to give us 2 a square equals to now let's recall this famous identity a plus b plus c whole square 
we are going to apply it on the right hand side and if I call uh, this as an A this one B and this square root of 2 as C and here in this next step I have expanded it by using this uh, identity and in this next step uh, 1 square is 1 square of square root of 3 is going to give us uh, 3 and this is going to give us 2 and likewise we simplified the whole thing and here in this next step uh, 1 plus 3 plus 2 is going to give us uh, 6. Now let's go ahead and divide across the board by 2 as we can see each and every term is divisible by 2. So therefore we got uh, on the left hand side this 2 and 2 is gone a square equal to this simplified right hand side and if we rearrange uh, this is our a square value and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square a b c d now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length and in our case our side length is a so the area of square is going to be a square but we know our a square value is this one I'm going to replace over here so the area a is going to be simply 3 plus square root of 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 plus uh, square root of uh, 6. So thus here is the area of this uh, square A, B, C, D and this is approximately equal to 8.6 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.